Hello ladies and gents, DKD6 right back here with you in another video and today we're talking about Halo, the Master Chief Collection. I wanted to do a huge video about Halo in general, but how is that even possible? Look, I'm still kind of new to this and I'm busting my balls here even talking about the Master Chief Collection. I don't want to do a half assed video with a general overview, I want to do this properly. Point I'm making, I'm here to give you the facts and to cover everything I possibly can. I do the research so you don't have to. Where the heck do I begin? At the beginning, let's do this! Firstly, what is the Master Chief Collection? It's the entire Master Chief saga which includes Halo 1 Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3 and Halo 4. It also comes with Halo Nightfall by Ridley Scott and access to the Halo 5 beta. But that's not all, let's break this up and take a closer look. BAM! Halo 1 Anniversary Halo 1, also known as Combat Evolved or Halo CE, was released with the launch of the original Xbox back in 2001. It was a brand new IP by the developer Bungie. Bungie had recently been acquired by Microsoft after Microsoft got a closer look at the game. Halo quickly became a worldwide phenomenon and pretty much made the FPS genre extremely popular on consoles. It was even praised as being one of the best and one of the most important games of all time. That's some serious stuff right there. Fast forward exactly 10 years to the day and Halo CE was remastered for the Xbox 360 by 343 Industries, Sabre Interactive and Certain Affinity. Yeah that's right, Bungie had left Microsoft to become a third party studio, however Microsoft kept the rights to the Halo IP. Halo 1 Anniversary on the Xbox 360 boasted a high definition visual overhaul, support for cooperative and multiplayer gameplay over Xbox Live, new sound effects, music and extras such as achievements and terminals. You could even switch between the classic graphics engine and the remastered engine in game by hitting a button. It was freaking epic. Now it's coming to the Xbox One as part of this collection running at a gorgeous 1080p at full 60 frames per second. What more could you ask for? That's right, more Halo! Let's talk about Halo 2 Anniversary. Halo 2 was released on the Xbox in 2004. On release, it was the most popular game on Xbox Live for almost two years. This game was simply epic and really pushed Halo's popularity even further into the stratosphere. It's still considered a fan favourite by people who love Halo. I mean the build up to this game alone was insane. Who remembers the alternate reality game I Love Bees? If you do, you'll know how incredible that was. If you don't, go to ilovebees.com, click mission log and download all the audio files and hear one of the best audio stories ever. It really was something else and it really was something quite special and I, I absolutely love that thing. As we did with Halo 1 Anniversary, fast forward 10 years and Halo 2 is receiving the Anniversary treatment. Launching with the Master Chief Collection in November this year, the Halo 2 Anniversary Edition features a fully remastered campaign. It also includes all 25 of the original multiplayer maps and 6 reimagined maps just cause they freaking felt like it. Like Halo 1 Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary will have hidden terminals and extended cutscenes which will hint towards the upcoming Halo 5 Guardian story. That sentence was far too long. Also, for the first time ever, Halo 2 will feature saved films just like Halo 3 and Halo 4. The cutscenes for Halo 2 Anniversary have been completely remade as well by none other than Blur Studios. I have to take my hat off to these people, 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 people. Blur Studios are incredible and the visuals they have created in the past for Halo and the work they have done for Halo 2 is simply outstanding. I mean look at this Sergeant Johnson for example. Here's the original from Halo 2 and, ready for it? Here's the remastered Blur Studios version. God damn, that's insane. And look at the Prophet of Regret. Ready for this? Now look at him. Look at him! Here's the Arbiter. Bam! Remastered into a beast. That's what you call a remaster. It's not just the characters. Check this out. Now look at the remaster. I think the comparisons speak for themselves, don't they? It's obviously not just the cutscenes that look beautiful now, it's the game itself. Let's go ahead and check out a few more comparisons. Here's the original. Here's the remaster. Original. Remaster. Original. Remaster. Original. Remaster. And finally the original. And the remaster. And in case you're wondering, this is how the brutes look now. Last but not least, this is how Fleet Admiral Lord Terence Hood looks. Ah, amazing, look at those wrinkles. Remember how I mentioned 6 reimagined multiplayer maps? Well one of them was my all time favourite and I am psyched that they are doing this. Ladies and gents, here is the new Zanzibar. 
I freaking love this map. I have no idea how many times I've played on this map. Yeah, wow, that looks incredible. The last thing I have to say about Halo 2 Anniversary is that like Halo 1 Anniversary, it includes the feature to switch between the classic games engine and the remastered engine, but this time the switch is instant. You can literally switch between the engines in-game even during a firefight. That to me is just the icing on the cake. I really, really can't wait for this. Moving on, let's talk about Halo 3. Halo 3 was released in 2007 on the Xbox 360. Developed by Bungie, it was the first Halo that was not on the original Xbox. It ended up being the best selling Halo game in the franchise and the best selling Xbox 360 exclusive. It was also the first Halo title to have the map editing tool Forge and saved films. Obviously Halo 3 is not receiving the anniversary remaster treatment but it will be running in 1080p at 60 frames a second and is said to look gorgeous on the Xbox One. Not much else to say about Halo 3 right now so let's push forward onto Halo 4. Halo 4 launched on the Xbox 360 in 2012. It's the first Halo game developed by 343 Industries, the Microsoft first party developers. Halo 4 was fantastic in my opinion. I absolutely love this game. Not only did it include an excellent campaign and multiplayer, it had Forge, saved films and for the first time Spartan Ops. Yes, Spartan Ops did kinda suck at the beginning, but it soon became freaking epic. The story in Spartan Ops was exciting and extremely interesting, ending with a huge cliffhanger and I really want to know what happens. Jeez! The complete Halo 4 experience is included in the Master Chief Collection and will also run at 1080p at 60 frames per second. BAM! I actually went to the Halo 4 launch party in London and uh, there's a video of it on my channel so be sure to check that out. I even met Kiki Wolfkill, the executive producer of Halo 4 and Neil Davidge, uh, he was the composer for Halo 4. They even signed all my Halo 4 stuff so that was really cool. I may as well go ahead and mention that I've been to every midnight launch for a Halo game since Halo Combat Evolved in 2001. Yeah, I am that sad according to some people and I really don't care, it's Halo. Come on, it's Halo. One of the most popular aspects of Halo is the multiplayer and the Master Chief Collection has the biggest offering I have seen. It has 45 campaign missions which can be played over Xbox Live, over 100 multiplayer maps, so every Halo map ever made, including the PC versions, and Spartan Ops. This also includes the original Halo CE maps. That's an insane amount of content already. You even get to play using the original gameplay mechanics if you want to and it includes Forge. This is a true multiplayer remaster of every title and yet it preserves what everyone loved about it in the first place. Did I mention it runs at 60 frames per second on dedicated servers? Well it does. Boof, mind blown. Using the master menu when you load up the game, you can play the games in a row from start to finish or jump about and play your favourite missions or use the curated playlists. So for example you can play all the missions from Halo 1 to 4 which have vehicles let's say. And yes all the campaign missions are unlocked from the start so you can jump right in and play whatever you like, how you like, when you like and with whoever you like. How epic is that? If that wasn't enough for all you greedy buggers, this collection also comes with the live action Ridley Scott produced series Halo Nightfall, starring Mike Coulter from The Good Wife as Agent Locke. Agent Locke is a pivotal new character in Halo 5 Guardians and Halo Nightfall is his origin and backstory. The trailer for this looks excellent and is a similar lead up to Halo 5 Guardians the way Forward Unto Dawn was to Halo 4. Last but not least, the Master Chief Collection includes access to the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. This is due to go live on December 27th of this year and it looks phenomenal. These screenshots alone are making my trigger finger itch. You know this is going to be freaking epic. I can't wait. At Comic Con, 343 said that there will only be one edition of this collection. However, Game in the UK put up a limited edition which includes a steelbook, a map book which has every multiplayer map in it with pro tips, and a grunt funeral skull. That's the one where the grunts explode after they're dead. Not only did they list this limited edition, they listed a Mjolnir edition which includes an almost 12 inch Master Chief. This statue by Art Effects features the articulation in the neck, the arms and the waist and comes with an extra set of arms to position the battle rifle across the chief's chest. Chief's chest, that's, that's really hard to say, chief's chest, chief's chest. Having pre-ordered the standard edition and then the limited edition, I was annoyed that they listed this as an online exclusive and didn't tell anyone that they'll be doing so. So it sold out within 2 hours and at £170, 
for the Mjolnir edition, I would have bought it. I bought every Halo statue since time began for God's sakes. It was a shame to miss out. However, the plot thickens. This is not a bundle by 343 Industries. This is a bundle by Game UK and they put it together themselves. So I went looking for this artifact statue and found it online. It can be yours for about $150, so if you really want it, check eBay. Just look up Halo Statue Art FX and it's it's right there. The limited edition with the steelbook is priced at £52.99 at Game UK and is available to order with worldwide shipping. Right, so Halo, the Master Chief Collection, is out in the US on November the 11th and Europe on November the 14th, which absolutely sucks. A, because it's all the way in November, and B, because Europe gets it three days late. What gives? I guess you guys need a head start, eh? Haha. <laughs> that about sums it up for this video. I hope you found it informative, entertaining, exciting, and most of all, arousing. Gamescom is around the corner with 343 promising a playable Halo 2 anniversary and more announcements, so please subscribe to stay up to date. I really did try to cram as much as I could into this video. My brain has officially melted. So as always, hit like if you liked this video, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment below and thank you all for watching. I'm DK86, bye!